here. This out of the way. Today's a very, very exciting day for your boy. Look what came in. Series X. Controller. Got an extra controller, got the bundle. Shout out to wifey. She's the one I actually ordered this. I didn't even know she did it until after she ordered it from Costco. So got the bundle with the extra controller. All right, so y'all know I don't ever do unboxings, which lets you know today's a special day. So I'm just gonna turn this around to face us. Actually, I don't think I can even do that. I gotta, I guess I gotta turn it around to open it. All right. Took all the tape off, I think. Guess I'll just open it from, from here? No, here, right? Yes. Ah, smells new, smells, smells like next gen. All right. Got a little getting started thing. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. I was so curious as to see how big this thing is. Um, wow, these are actually a lot easier to take off than I thought. So let's see what this thing looks like. Oh, it's a little bit smaller than I thought for real. Power your dreams. <laughs> Wrong side. So the last thing to unbox in this very minimal bundle is this carbon black controller. So I got two black controllers. I wish I would I wish they would have offered blue, but it's all good. I'm just glad I got the Xbox and I can share this with you all. But um, looks really similar to the controller I already have, but uh, definitely like a matte black finish, which looks really nice. Um, there's quite a bit of uh, dust that you can see. You probably can't see. Um, in the video, well, you can see it there a little bit, um, but the grip in the back is like, the back of the controller is much different. Um, definitely more grippable in, in those scenarios where you like have sweaty palms, cause like it's the last kill in Call of Duty, game winning shot in 2K or game winning field goal in Madden, something like that. Your sweaty uh, palms won't get in the way of your production. I actually want to compare this controller with the Xbox One black controller real quick. So this is the Xbox One controller. Uh, definitely shinier, a more glossy finish for the color and even it feels like less grippable <laughs> or it's more slippery basically. So you don't want to be using this with uh, sweaty palms for sure. Um, this one definitely feels a lot better. Um, I got to get used to how it feels though, that's for sure. But um, yeah. These are the two side by side. Now that I unboxed the next gen beast of a machine, let's talk about my first impressions. But keep in mind, I'm your average casual gamer that occasionally snaps on Call of Duty. I'm not really a serious gamer. I know one of the main concerns with both the Xbox Series X and PS5 is where on earth am I gonna put this thing in my living room or on my desk? Because they both have a quite unorthodox shape that we're not used to. But I will say that since the Xbox Series X can lay flat due to the little feet in the back of the console, it fits perfectly inside the bottom shelf of my IKEA TV console. 
I did try to move the TV slightly over so the Xbox could stand vertically and my wife shut that down quick when she saw that setup. And of course my excuse was that it was for B-roll purposes. Moving on to the design of the top of the console, AKA the cheese grater, the beehive. Well, if you're wondering why Microsoft designed it that way, it's for airflow that acts as a vertical cooling system that keeps the console quiet. And let me tell you, this thing is silent. It's incredible. Moving on to the gameplay. So as I mentioned earlier, I'm your average and casual gamer. So I won't bore you with specs that I'm still trying to understand. But right off the bat, I can tell a difference with the home screen. There's a new theme, so the color scheme is different. We have blue and black as like the primary colors with nice subtle strokes of white lines as like animations in the background. So the first game I played was Madden. And I know that when we get new things, we sometimes have this like placebo effect of thinking everything is better and so different. However, the Zen Z and RDNA 2 architectures, 4K 60 FPS, along with DirectX, ray tracing has made a huge difference especially when my display is in game mode the gameplay is so much more immersive than the xbox one from the lighting to the shadows along with the reflections that make it look more realistic and colorful and dynamic you can see the true to life experience with reflections and shadows on games like Madden, the reflections off the helmets, also played the new COD Black Ops, and I can tell a difference with the movement of the characters and weapons. Everything feels more smooth and realistic. Also the audio experience with aircrafts or helicopters flying above your head feels so real with vibration going through your controller to reflect a more real life experience. I've also noticed an improvement in load time and download time significantly, which is great because it used to take nearly a whole day to install and update Call of Duty. Moving on to the controller, there's really no difference outside of the share button, carbon finish, texture triggers and bumpers to prevent your hands from slipping. The shape of the controller is pretty much the same, even though I, I did read that it might be a bit smaller, be more ergonomically friendly for people with smaller hands without making any, you know, significant impact to people who have larger hands. From an ergonomical standpoint, it is a lot better. It feels a lot better, um, even though the design isn't all that different. All right, so that concludes this unboxing and first impressions. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it at all, or if you'd like to see a similar video for the PS5, which should be coming in today or tomorrow, depending on when this video releases, smash that subscribe button. I love for you all to become a part. I love for you all to become a part of this wonderful community of creators and engineers. Thanks again for watching this video. I greatly appreciate it. And as always, stay blessed. I'll see you all soon. Peace.